Cutting and controlling tracks. Let's record a small movie in which a monster chases a centipede on a planetoid. Let's set the planetoid to rotate slowly. Open track view. Edit track with a planetoid. Press the rotate button. Now adjust rotation speed so it's slower. Press done. Press record and now let's move the centipede along the planetoid. Press stop. Rewind. Then play. Now let's make the monster chase the centipede along the same track. We will copy the track of the centipede to the monster track. Bring up the timeline. Now the monster was recorded together with the centipede, but hanging in space. Let's delete the track of the monster. Double tap the centipede track. Select copy. Move the timeline slider to the place where the tracks should be copied, a little behind in time, so that the monster is behind the centipede. Double tap the empty space and tap paste. Press play and we see the monster chasing the centipede along the same track. All the movement and positions was copied from the centipede track to the monster track. Now the background has disappeared because it was not recorded at the end of the video. Now we can scroll a little on the timeline, see the puppets move behind the track view. We can use the slider to navigate back and forth in the animation. Let's delete the end of the monster track so that it doesn't hang behind the other tracks. Double tack, select split, the track was split into two. Now let's delete the part on the right. Double tap, then delete. By pressing the small play buttons we can make one of the tracks visible or invisible in the output movie. See how monster and centipede become visible at different times.